So now that I've finished working in the V area, one of the things you'll discover is that with the two different colored backgrounds, we want them to sort of blend together. And because this activity four is all about the clone tool, I'm gonna to stay with the clone tool. And instead of just cloning regularly, I'm gonna clone and change the opacity. So we've used opacity before when we've talked about erasing and transparency and all that kind of stuff. But this one's a little bit weird. So instead I'm going to zoom back out again. And once I zoom back out, oh, sorry. There we go, you might have to click inside of your picture to zoom back out. I wanna show a couple things about opacity. So I've set the opacity somewhere down in the 40s. Uh, I'm gonna get my brush size back up to 20 just so it goes a little faster. And I'm going to select with control click, I'm gonna control click on this gentleman's face. And then I'm gonna do one long continuous click and drag over here. And what you can see is that this is not as clear as it was the first time we did it with this gentleman's face. This face is literally looks like see-through because we can still see lines from the brick coming through his face. That's because our copy and paste only has an opacity of, in this case, 44.9%. So we're going to use that same technique. I'm going to edit undo, control Z that, and zoom back in here. And when we zoom back into this space, what, we, what I want to do is I want to blend these two textures together. And so in order to do that, I already have my opacity set. I already have my brush set. I'm going to control click on this side, and I'm going to just add some texture on top here to tone this edge down. And it's not toning it down a horrendous amount, it's just toning it down a little bit. And then similarly, I'm gonna control click over here and blend some of the stronger color out. Now if I do this too much, you can see I've lost all my beautiful snowflakes in tone. This was just control Z. And if I control Y it back, you can see it's just sort of ruined it. Control Z that back again. So I don't want to do this too much. But you can see when I undo that and go right back to the beginning, that this area right here is just, it just looks horrible. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stop there. Just do it a little bit, not too much, not overdone. And that's called uh, opacity using your clone tool.